Hi ladies, um, I'm Kelly Louder, um, and thank you so much for agreeing to accept the box of samples that you will be getting. Um, it's a new way for me to try to reach out to get some new clients. Um, you know, the last year has been a little bit challenging. Um, I went from going, having, you know, in-person events at least once a week and that kind of screeched to a halt so I'm always up for trying new things and I think this is something fun because it's you guys can check out the products you can play with a lot of things um, I'm here as a resource to answer any questions you have and if you do decide to um, purchase anything your friend is going to get um, some rewards as well so I think this is fun and definitely don't hesitate to reach out to me um, so I want to tell you a little bit about me um, so I joined Beauty Counter on day one so and that was eight years ago we're an eight-year-old company um, it started a lot um, our anniversary was in March um, it's very exciting. It was exci exciting to be there at the beginning when we only had nine products and now you guys are going to see how many products we have now. It's like we have basically everything you would need. Um, so it's it's been a fun ride and, and I appreciate your friends um, checking it out with me. And um, so the reason why I join Beauty Counter is not because I was a makeup junkie or anything like that. It was, you know, a friend of mine asked me, she learned about the company early and she asked me if I would consider doing it with her. And at first I was like, no, <laughs> I'm busy. Like, well, how could I fit that into my life? Um, but then when I started hearing and learning about the company, um, we are really about helping women make, not only women, women and men and everybody to make safer choices in their skincare and their cosmetics. Um, because what you put on your body can go into your body and it really, really makes a difference. Um, and you'll learn that there's a lot of um, in questionable ingredients in the U.S. Um, skincare and cosmetics. Um, so, you know, that, that got me intrigued because I felt I'm a fairly smart person and I didn't know any of that. Um, but the other thing is, um, so I, I'm an environmental scientist. I work at the University of Rhode Island. Um, and I war work in water, in the water field. And it just started me thinking like, okay, if these bad ingredients are in our products, they're also washing down the drain. Um, and so it really, really, I really felt I wanted to do this. I needed to do this. Um, it's, you know, I can't start a new lab um, around um, cosmetics and 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 skincare but I can do my por my part I can educate people um, and that's really what I really focus on um, and in your box you'll see some information about the our never list and I'll talk about that a little bit more too um, and another reason I joined Be beauty counter was because um, I have two daughters at, at that time they were pretty young um, now one of them is in college and another will be going into college and it I thought that the extra um, income would be helpful especially coming up on college expenses um, and it's really been a great way for me to do with it uh, to get some extra income and also um, you know it, it was a time in my life eight years ago um, you know I really had a hard time connecting with women you know having two two small daughters and um, 
you know, being a busy person, how do you, how do you do this? And so it was kind of fun to meet people. And I've met so many people who have become my friends. Um, and it was really great to connect with all these women. And that's one of the things I've really missed this past year is the connecting and meeting new people. But anyway, all right, so that's enough about me. Um, so the company I already, already alluded to the our never list, the beauty counter um, bans 1,800 ingredients. Um, the European Union bans around 1,600 um, ingredients. Canada bans around, I think it's 500 or 600 ingredients. Um, and the U.S. bans, I think now the list is up to two, 20, 21, 21 ingredients are banned. Um, and it makes you kind of think like, okay, well, what data is that? It, are they basing this on and everything? So, and it, one thing I want to tell you too, is if, if, um, they do decide to, um, recall an ingredient, there's no mechanism in the U S to actually do that. They have to have voluntary, um, taking down of products. Um, so that's not the best Thing. So the never list that you see is kind of like the big hot top pop top ones. And if anything, if you I want to get rid of one ingredient, the, I would suggest getting rid of fragrance because there's a lot of things in there. Um, if you learn a little bit more about that, you would find that. Um, so so beauty counter we we educate. We are also advocating for more health protective laws. Um, I was, I've been fortunate to earn two trips to DC to lobby in Cong Congress and just basically sit around the table with our, with some staffers and some Congress people and just educate them and let them know that, um, commerce, and in, you know, <laughs> commerce uh, during, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Sorry. Well, um, <laughs> I'm trying to say that in, innovation is not stifled with, lo with laws, especially in this realm. It actually brings out more interesting and new ways to do things. Um, so that's, that's been fun. I actually earned a third trip to DC, but it happened right before the pandemic. And we just heard that we will be able to go next April. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So, um, you know, it's not just, we want to make the industry better. All right. Um, another thing. So I think that, um, I think, you know, you as women, I think that over the last year, we learned to try to take care of ourselves, um, that we need to take care of ourselves. Um, and so sometimes skin care can be a part of that deal. Um, and I also think that we are looking for products that might be multi-tasking. Multi um, and we have a lot of things like that. Um, and... Another thing I think that the community is looking for is um, for sustainability. Like, we get it. We get that there's too much plastic. There's too many um, ingre bad ingredients in our waterways. Um, we want to do better. And Beauty Counter has really stepped up and done this. So we are um, looking at not only you know, are the ingredients safe? That's the, our number one thing. But we also want to look at the system, um, how, how these ingredients come to be. Um, so for instance, vanilla and mica. So vanilla is like, um, in our lipsticks, it's a flavoring and it's in some of our other of, of our products as well. Um, and mica is, um, mica is in almost everything. It's shimmery. It's like the shimmery paint on your car. 
Um, it's everywhere and it's on the makeup. And mica itself is 100% safe. It's totally fine. It doesn't have heavy, heavy metals or anything like that. Um, but vanilla and mica are often harvested by child labor. labor. And we don't support that. So we really have dug deep to get good um, sources of our uh, of these these ingredients. Um, we're also looking. Maybe some of you guys have heard about palm oil. Um, it's kind of it's an environmental problem, especially down in rainforests. Um, so we're also looking at responsible palm oil and we just decided last in the um around christmas time they announced beauty counter announced that that we are going to be talc free um so we have discontinued most of our powders um all of our powders will be gone by the middle of the year um, we're switching over to cream um uh eyeshadow and blush um, and other things um, but at the same time we're also looking to develop um, some talc free options that are um, just as good and wonderful as we expect to be so anyway so anyway these are kind of fun new things that are going on um, also you're gonna see um, if you purchase some of those products, you're going to see that we have a lot of glass bottles. And that's because glass is much easier to be um, recycled. It's um, plastic, class, plastic waste is often contaminated, so a lot of batches get thrown out and not recycled. Um, we're also, for products that we can't have put put in glass we're using more recycled materials too so that is fun um we've won lots of awards um if you google beauty counter and a and a and a and maybe one of our products you probably can get an award see an award about it um we are not we we're not just throwing some um cheap little ingredients in there um we are really we want good products we want products that want everybody wants to come back to and i think we've been doing a good job with that um let's see so basically um you all have gotten some skincare um it might be two two pieces like a cleanser and a, a moisturizer um um, some of the sets, like the anti-aging, has four products for you to check check out. And I just encourage you to just dig in, dig in. Don't wait for like the best day of the week. Each day, do you try something? Um, let's see. We also, I also threw threw in foundation um, foundations for you guys to try. It has multiple shades as well as as well as concealer um, and then a lot of fun little products that we call our hero products so there's a body lotion there's um, a, a, a sea serum we have an overnight resurfacing peel we got some charcoal masks in there I think they're you're gonna fall in love um, and definitely please text me call me um, see I would love to help you out in any way I can. And um, yeah, so once, so the, so to help your friend, if you decide that you would like to pur purchase something, I will be sending you a link um, to uh, so that she can get her credit. And also um, we only have a 10 day time period. Um, I'm not starting it as soon as you get the box, but I will let you know what the time limit is on that. Um, and I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find some things that you really like and don't hesitate to ask me. 
All right. Thank you so, so, so much. And um, I can't wait to see you. See what you like. Okay. Bye.